people thanks for watching thanks for listening thanks for all the support over the years because this podcast is over three years old at this stage you know they grow up so fast but uh, hello welcome back to Al talks this podcast i started three years ago to chronicle me starting stand-up uh, so it, this podcast is a weekly podcast it comes out once a week and this is just a small little introduction video into the podcast so down below in the description of each episode you can go to my link tree and find links to everything connected to me this podcast is available on youtube which you're watching on right now and also on spotify um, but yeah, that is just a small introduction into this podcast and everything that goes along with it. Hello, welcome back to the podcast, another episode, another week. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, welcome back. Um, what did I want to say? Hold on, give me a second. Yeah, I'd, um, if you were watching the comedy vlog episode, um, I said I was going to talk about more about the Giggles performance. Um, it went well. Um, like I was saying, I think I might have mentioned last year that a lot of people st uh, start comedy in the New Year's, like a New Year's resolution, which is like a, basically something that they want to try, give it a go. So there was like, uh, Giggles Comedy Club, like what? For example, when I am like usually about twenty comedians sign up a night, sometimes be, between twenty and twenty five. Whereas that night, um, did like twenty eight people signed up, which you know it's like nearly thirty people signed up to perform, which is mad. Like it's you know it's a mad busy night. Anyway, and. So, so it was just you know it was jam packed night. I went up in the first half before the break, and then I went over to the NTO. But before I went to perform, this comedian from South South Africa got on to perform. Um, her name is Danny, and she was talking about like um, she was talking about her dad who was a metalhead, and instantly just like because I had like I said I had written load of new material for this night so i'd written a load of new material and i was like you know i'm gonna go there and try it out it like five jokes i want to try out and then but the minute she said that i was like oh because like i carry my business cards in my phone holder like so i was like oh i definitely have to let <laughs> i really want to just go up and the, the idea that I had my stage for as my opener because I was going up after Danny was like go up on stage and be like oh here's a business card for your dad sounds like a pretty cool dude because I was wearing the heavy metal vest that I usually wear the battle they're called battle vest I think I might mention it in the heavy metal members episode before um but yeah so I said that and I was like you know jeez why am I struggling to talk so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that. But then I thought of an even better idea. We're going up a stage, just saying I'm Danny's dad. So I decided to do that instead. So I, you know, uh, my friend Sean Moriarty was MC in that night, and his guest MC because Bill was over in Barcelona doing stand up. So Sean was guest MC, in. so Sean introduced me on stage. I go up and I go, you know, hello everybody, I'm Alex George. Uh, oh, I said, hello, I'm Danny's dad. And instantly the crowd goes wild. <laughs> you know, great intro. Because this is actually like my first gig of this year, 2024. So got off to a flying start. And then I did a bit more improv. Like, you know, I gave my business card to Danny. I said, that's very far. So I was a like, cool dude. And then, so I started going into my new material, the new opener that I wrote last year. Got into that. Then started into my new joke. Um, I actually forgot to finish that joke because it got sidetracked by something else. But it was like it, it was a really, really good energy in the room, and there was a lot of people who got on for the very first time ever to do stand up. 
There's a guy called VJ from India. He recently moved here to study in Galway, which is about an hour away from where I live. Because I live in the middle of Ireland. <coughs> and Aidan, I think Aidan Buckley, or Aidan Shield. No, I think Aidan Buckley. Uh, because Aidan Buckley's first ever gig was when I emceed, guest emceed last year. And then he came back this year for another spot, which is great to see again. So it'll be interesting now to uh, see how these comedians progress over the next couple of months. And if they stick with it. And then after my set, after the, when there was a break in the comedy show at Giggles, I went over to the N2 to, just to watch and hang out with Melinda and stuff. Uh, so I went over. There was another great stacked lineup. There was 12 comics on the night over there. Um, it was a really interesting night because there was three people in the audience from uh, Virginia. They, you know, they were young kids were like uh, 19 and two of them were 20. They were, you know, they just traveling around Europe and after the show we went out and we hung out all together like with a couple of, a couple of other comedians as well. And it kind of really brought me back to the days, especially about maybe two years ago when this was happening on a regular basis, you know, we'd go to a comedy show and afterwards we'd all just hang out. Um, I've never actually hang hung hang out hung out <laughs> with comedy fans before, so that was a new f- thing for me as well. Um, really cool dudes. If you're watching this podcast, shout out. Um, I don't remember all their names. I know one of them was called Lewis, um, <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> I forget. <laughs> um, one of them, actually, I think, yeah, Lewis actually got up and did a set um, because he wanted. I think. He wanted to just try stand up, so that was that was funny. <laughs> uh, struggling to say, I've to record another episode after this, so this is gonna be fun. Um, I'm already struggling what to say. No, I'm not struggling what to say. Um, the new material that I've gone through went down well. Um, like I said, I didn't do all the jokes oh no I'm lying I did um, I wrote a new it's basically new material about uh, what do you call it oh no I'm lying I did three of the new jokes well, I didn't finish one of them because it started rambling off. And but, yeah, there was one of the new jokes I wrote is about this the new comedy notepad because I don't use the old one anymore. Um, I still bring it with me because for the joke. But what do I want to say? I want to say something. Yeah, so I've tried. Let me see out of. Sorry for smacking the mic. What did I try? I tried. I did half of this joke. I did this joke. And then that. So there was two jokes I didn't get to a night. Because I improv. Which, uh, like, if you heard in the comedy vlog. I don't really improv an awful lot. But, I, you know, I just. There's certain moments in comedy. That stuff that happens at shows. Never repeats. And you, you really don't want to waste these opportunities. So that's what I did when Dennis had called. You know, my dad's a metalhead. And I was like. I like Bob Bisley went off my head. I was like, that's how I'm going to start my uh, set. Introduction to the podcast. Now, um, what was it? What, what thoughts do I have in my head? Huh? I'm in Mullingar this week at Columbia Bar Comedy Club, which is run by my good friend Anthony O'Reilly. So looking forward to that. I'll be mixing it up. I'll be putting, throwing some of those new jokes in there with some of the old ones. And see how I get on. I don't think I've ever really had a bad set in Mullingar. I've always been somewhat decent in there. So it's a good it's a good place. It's a good bar. The owner of the bar, Ross, is very nice. Sound dude. Great comedian. 
also and then at the end of the month and then show me the funny so these two gigs will be preparation for that i have not sat down and gone over my set that i'm going to do for show me the funny the lineup has been released um same as last year a lot of my friends are on it and there's only one person on the lineup this year that i don't know whereas last year there was two i didn't know which is um nothing strange because you know you get to meet new comedians stuff like that it's always great in that sense i suppose and then after that i have no more gigs and but also like i said i'm not sure about how many gigs i'll do this year because i'm uh, working out on some stuff plan on working on myself this year trying to sort a couple of things out myself up for a big bright future i suppose really <laughs> that's all and uh, i don't know what else do you know what i want to talk about no that's it really i think for this week's episode um yeah as per usual, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, thanks for all the support over the years, because this podcast is over three years old at this stage. You know, they grow up so fast. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I shall see you all next week. Bye-bye.